Uh, praise is Kembo Kembo Netakanzami Yamazulu. Kimfumo Kyaku Isa. Nzami Mawesha and Zambi Okabenisha and Zambi Moneni. May Takanzambi continue to give knowledge, wisdom, understanding in these last days as we prepare to continue to go back to Sioni. And as we know, even in the land, there are many deceivers, as there are also deceivers around the world. Be wise as a serpent, be innocent as a dove. Many of us. Uh, understanding there's a lot of things that people don't are aware of. Uh, just because people think they know the most high, that doesn't mean that they're working for him, but still could be for the adversary. And that's why today, you know, many people of their words are going to continue to be used against them when it comes to the fact that they don't understand that they have become a stumbling block unto Yakuba. And the problem is when you go to reveal somebody and they say that they don't want to know about it, understand that all it does is it puts them more in the crosshairs of a judgment that they won't be able to, to stand. And many people think that they go to our father and they hear people say, tell them, oh, they're in heaven or they're going to all these different places. But that's the deception because the people who created these doctrines, they know exactly what they're about. And you don't because they told you what to think, not how to think, not how it should, how it really was. And you are mixing things that you don't understand that's causing spiritual problems, not only in the family and your life, but it's injuring those who are actually supposed to be in power and above the nations who are actually below them or, or equivalent to. And so today, uh, like I said, Tinema Vimpi, Munana Tatanzambi, Tunama Vimpi, Muna Zola Jatatanzambi, you're doing well, grace of the Most High. Uh, many people are going to continue to mock and be in disobedience to the things that I'm going to say, but I'm going to make it very clear that um, You're going to keep acting like he vo 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 I didn't say anything. What am I waiting for? And keep vingi dingi. Hello, mono vingi dingi. Tata Congo. Tata Zambi and Pungu. The God of creation the heavens and earth. Now, the one thing that's going to become this is not about judging because I know myself, we are dealing with a lot of sorcery, witchcraft, kendoki, voodoo that continues to come from various directions because of the fact that they do not want people to know the truth, okay? Because they don't want to spoil their dinner. Because that's exactly what it is that we're trying to do is we're, we're spoiling the dinner of those who think they're eating righteous food when they're eating worms. We're also spoiling the dinner of those who are, that is their intent is to feed off of the deception, okay? And what I mean that is doesn't, it comes from their pockets, it comes from their bank accounts, it comes from their businesses, it comes from their corporations, it comes from all the things that they have done off of lies and off of a deception, okay? Because the false reality is the Most High never worked in the, in the way that they have been instructing you because everything is about exploiting you for wealth. Um, I was trying to find that video. I forgot. I started it. Um, there's a lady. So when she spoke about, um, and they, this is one of the reasons why I know they're going to talk about, oh, we want to ban TikTok. We want to get rid of these things. Because the, the concept is um, we are here to expose many of the things that people have taken for granted that they think is actually true. And you assume things that are gonna to continue to make people look very stupid when it comes to when they face our father, that they're convinced that they're gonna have a welcoming in 
and to the conversation with the Most High when He's going to start. He's going to start revealing scriptures that you don't even know about because you're like I saw this guy who said, and you hear pastors say it all the time: if it's not in the sixty-six books in the Bible, the God didn't say it. That's a that's a baloney, full-out deceiver lie, because. The concept is the less you know, the more they control and the more they can manipulate you for the agenda that you don't even know. OK, that was the whole point of that. That's why people had to suffer and go through all kinds of things when they discovered that things were not the way they think. Um, that's not the right one. I'm hoping I can find it again. I don't know if they removed it. Um, well, it's, it's not on my computer. It's on, I say, I shared it and I remember, I think it was around this time. Let me see if I find it. Sorry for the delay. While we're doing that, let me get the music started. Again, once again, I do not own the music. I heard Wapi Wikichila. Uh, it's not for redistribution of any kind and for any type of uh, benefit of this channel, but only for people to be for the edification and the understanding of the things that we're trying to say to our people that you need to quit paying attention to celebrities. You need to quit paying attention who are paid to deceive you. Okay, they are not taking you down the right path. They're building their paycheck. That's why the people who don't do it, they're always trying to starve us because the, the connection is you are actually thinking, which is what they never wanted you to do. Um, I'm hoping I can find it. Let me just see if I can pull it up on this app. But anyway, let me share the screen and then we'll get into it because there's serious consequences that are coming now for all of you who think the Freemasons and the secret societies and everybody else that's sitting here making money for the false gods, you think you got it right and you had chances to get it right when you got it completely wrong and you got a lot of false prophets, a lot of false teachers. You got people who are continuing to drag their feet, even, uh, even of the people who believe in the Tokwis and the Kimbanguis and all the others. There's a big deception going on because none of these people wanted, you were never supposed to continue with anything or any anything related to anything that was Roman or Babylonian or anything of that nature. And if you're continuing in this route, that means that that person is bought off by the sorcerer, okay, or is the sorcerer. And that's the deception that people don't get. Our father did not have anything to do with changing anything according to the Roman deception. No way. He wouldn't need to. Why? He has his own time, the laws and seasons he set up, and the Messiah himself was following them. That's how I know people try to act like that Jesus didn't exist. I'm like, the way that they taught him, he didn't, because they combined two different things. But at the same time, there really is a true Messiah who did actually get crucified, but they changed his story so that our people would continue to believe in a lie. Okay, I uh, needed to pull up another scripture here. One second. It's called. And the reason why I'm going to put it up is because I'm going to show you that they hide these things for a reason. And you're going to see what August is named after and why this is not in there.
second here. Kimball, Kimball, Kimball. Saku Pans Mzinga. Zambia Mpungu Tlendo. Akongo Yabe. Yenge, Yenge, Yenge. Keno. Bayetin Kosi. Kemba. Hallelujah. Tatan Zambi. Salama, Salama. Banabetu. Visolele. Na Kalunga. That's Basantu. We give honor to Kembo To Natato Lee. Tatan Zambi. Mpungu Tlendo. Kimbangu, the Mananzambi, Toko, we give honor to all of the Wanavelala, the Maliki Makongo, the Basantu, Asalam Maliki Makongo, the Banabetu, the Solele, the Santu, the Unkuluntu Basantu, all of the that have been descendants to try to teach the righteous way to our people that have been stubborn and rebuked and continue to go away against the way of the heathen. And against and against pagan for pagan ideology, we call upon you, Tatanzambi, to continue to expose many of the different things that are going on. That we know everybody's trying to say that everything is wrong that we're trying to teach them. But Father, we know that there are so many things that people don't understand. That there's always there's a grand scheme against your kingdom, against your people, and for our own people to continue to be used for a major deception that they do not understand. Congo and Hallelujah. So I'm trying to see. I posted it in our in another group. And basically it was this lady who was talking about It's kind of weird because now the other one's gone. 
Where is that one at? So this is why I get kind of concerned. It's not everybody's who they say they are. Now, what I had done is I posted this thing about a lady. And what had happened is she was talking about the truth about how America was really set up since 1871. And she was explaining that no one was ever really free after they changed the constitution from the one that they claimed was ratified in 1776. And of course there was another video that was talking about the federal reserve. But for example, um, one of the things that I know Yeah, here it is. Okay. Now, I know you may not be able to hear it, per se, on my phone. Um, I'll try to turn it up louder. I can even switch it to the other speaker to put it in there. But um, basically, she's, it's going to be an eight-minute conversation where she's going to be talking about America. Now, the thing you got to understand is... This is not just America. This is actually the whole world. And people don't understand is there's a major deception about how they don't know the full story is that when you talk about the things like what happened with the the, the Lakota massacre, the, the, the Native Americans who were slaughtered over the thousands of genera uh, the generations that they existed, and why they went to go reteach their children different things. And you talk about um, the Sand Creek Massacre, which happened in the state that I live in. And you talk about the fact that they honor these military war heroes. And what you don't understand is, is the majority of the people who were doing these things actually worship Satan. Like General Palmer was a Satanist. So was, uh, um, you know, What's his name? Custer. And a lot of these other people who claim to be God fearing Christians were not. OK. Um, the problem is many of these people, they killed us, the actual chosen people under the guise, especially when the Mormons came with their doctrine that the darker skinned races were inferior to whites. OK. When in fact, there's no such thing as white people. That's the problem. Um, the race theory was, was invented in the 1800s, but then it always kind of existed in a sense of a, super, a certain superiority or inferiority complex to certain groups. And some of these groups were actually still kind of darker in the past. And the problem is they always knew that there was a particular group of people that could never be allowed to be on top of the world. Now, when we did this in the 1300s, it sent alarm bells running that we were beginning to regather. And so the fallen angels know that the kingdom of Congo D and Totola can never be one. Okay. Can never be one. Because what that does is it puts an end to them. And this is the deception that people don't know is when they say they shall fight against the lamb. It's the people who are fighting against the real kingdom. That they're not telling you that because you're participating in the war, but you're not supposed to know that. OK, so now um, this lady right here she's going to break it down what people don't know about the system that they live in was never meant to save anybody and when rome created christianity okay when, sorry when 
Rome created Christianity, it was for the sole purpose of destroying the temple, not raising it up. Okay. It was the same agenda of the Pharisees, scribes, Sadducees, and hypocrites that were offended to the fact that they felt their Kuso Congo was being disrespectful to the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments. However, there was a false Messiah spirit that was already acting as if they had the authority thousands of years before that in Mesopotamia when um, they tried to trick the people that they didn't need to worry about the prophecy. It had already been fulfilled. Okay, this is what people don't get. And the wizard's gonna keep spinning it. He's gonna keep telling you that's a lie and everything. And he's gonna keep talking about this deception. Okay, just like he did with the science, just like he did with everything with governments. I'm gonna read the Geneva Bible about what it really says about your leaders. Okay, you don't understand Nobody runs the world unless you worship Lucifer. Okay, that's the bottom line. Because the Most High turned it over to the hands of the wicked, and they lied about it. So Esau is going to try to tell you he's righteous and Jacob is wicked when it's the opposite way around. Now, Jacob did become wicked when we, did, when we gave away the birthright back to Esau in our knucklehead move, but it's like the days of Noah, which is the same thing that happened. The children of Inseta gave away their birthright to Cain, and Cain can't save you. Okay, that's the whole point. So the two kingdoms, one cannot save you at all. All he can do is act like he can save you. He's going to try to make himself look good, but he's not. So everything looks like it's nice. Everything looks like you're doing everything just fine. But there's, you're being a stumbling block, whether you know it or not, with um, your schools, your churches, your governments. Um, everything that is being done is intentionally to be a stumbling block. And then if you say, well, I don't want to believe that, or I don't think it's right, you need to realize is that it's not you that needs to, you got to understand you're going to pay for what you choose to accept and what you choose not to accept. Okay. There are many people and I do mean many people, that their role is to make sure that the Banabetu of Isolele keep fighting each other, that they are destroying themselves, that they are not allowed to unite. That's why they keep sending people that want to start idolizing them. When these people who are being sent are telling you, do not idolize us, okay? And you don't understand this. Okay, and they can be nice about it. They have good, kind-hearted people. Okay, I just talked to a sister. Um, she just came. From, she's she was in Angola. Okay, yeah. There's. A, I'm telling you, I was there. Okay, I was in Congo. I mean, I didn't go to Congo. Um, there was things that I understood was true, and there was things that I was questioning. Like, wait a minute, that's not right. And see, I'm going to show you that they actually coding it. Because there's a movie, there's a Netflix called Supercell. And I know that that's actually showing you their fear of the power of the Most High. Because what they have been doing for so many generations now is trying to eliminate this threat that they know manifests power in a way that you don't even understand. This is what really is top secret with the military, with the governments. But anybody who's hiding things in secrecy, it's because they know that it's all about the 12 tribes. Now, I read off some of them in my last thing, uh, but what you don't know, like Naphtali and some of the others are actually further south in the Kosa and the Zulu, okay? Um, and there's a reason why they want to keep changing the narrative about where is the true 12 tribes from, where is, every, where is this at? Why do they keep tap dancing? Because the more you catch a lie, the thief is going to keep changing his story. That's the way it goes. I mean, anybody who was a police officer, 
Like when you talked about the guy, there's a guy who talked about, yeah, many, many cops are Freemasons. Yeah, you have to be because you cannot understand that the law that they're promoting is not the most highest. It's Ma'at. They know that. It's Canaanite law. It's the bar. See, now it's funny because um, Twitter all of a sudden did something to my account, and I'm not surprised because, like they told you, I know who Elon Musk is. I know who he works for. Um, I know what these apps are for, okay? This is information to keep tabs on people so they don't have to worry about spying on you. Big Brother is always watching, but they don't going to tell you that. But Big Brother is the first face fake God. Okay, you don't understand that. That's who Big Brother is. It's the one who should have been the one who wanted to be king, but he was never born. Okay? Um, this is the deception. Okay? So now, um, when we go to uh, the lost, hallelujah, Kimber, the lost book, of the Bible, the infancy gospel of Yeshua HaMessiah. Now, like I said, if you're going to keep using the name Jesus Christ, you you got this name from Rome. This is not who they crucified. No, they did not. <laughs> okay? This is the sorcerer. This is the name he took when he said that he was Messiah. Okay? Because they called the pig that killed Tammuz Jesus Christus. Which was another word. They actually say Jesus Christus, Christus, but it was a way to say that he saved us from this liar, the pig did, which was mocking the fact that he wasn't the Messiah. Jesus Christus, Kuswa Congo, however, he actually did become the high priest. But I'm going to show you, he was never born, not on December 25th, and he was not born in the way they told you. He was actually in a cave, and I know the cave I talked about, okay? It says here, the following accounts were found in the book of Yosefu, the high priest. Okay, why is that not in the Bible? Because they're going to hide it from you. He relates to Yeshua, forget about this name. Yesu, Yeshua, Yesu, Kusa Kongo, Masindisi, okay? He was a Banabeto of Isolele Chiluba. He was not a Greco-Roman creation of Greece. Now, so was the, the sorcerer was also Banabetu, but he was the, the goat god in spirit. Okay, he was, that's why they cut. He said he was filled like he was, like he looked like a god. If you read an Acts, but he's not, he's mocking you because the, the Bible is written by the Jesuits. Simon the sorcerer is behind the scriptures. And he was a Banabe to be solele, so he knew the Most High's way. So don't even get it twisted. They know the truth. The, the, the Gogo, they know the Most High's way because they were there. Okay? So, all right, here we go. So it's going to show you Masindisi could talk to Malia while he was in his in his bait in the womb. He relates to yesterday spake even when he was in the cradle and he saw his mother. Uh, Malia, I, I said, now he's going to tell he, he gonna tell his mother his name, Malia. And it was not, no, it's not Maria. I am yesterday. And I'm going to say, he said, Yeshua. The Benan Muntu, the Benan Zombie. Okay, he didn't say Jesus. I'm telling you, he did not call himself that. Yeshua. Okay. Golo Yeshua, okay. And of course, the Greeks they started calling him Yeshua because he called himself after Yosua. Okay. The word that which does bring forth, and I know he said the Congo, the Benan Congo, the son of God, the Benan Congo, the Benan Zombie. He did not say God. He's not speaking English, people. The word which thou didst bring forth according to the direction of the Maliki Congo Gablia. Gabriel was not how you say it in Kikongo, telling you. To thee and my father have sent me the salvation of the world. In the 309th year of the era of Alexander, okay, Augustus, this is what the month you're in right now, 
Augustus published a decree that all persons should go to be taxed in their own country. Okay? This is why we're telling you if Rome was in fact preaching our father's way, you would not be paying any tax like what they're doing now. Okay? And the same goes for Christianity right now. You would not be paying any tax if you are actually following the Father's way. I'm telling you, the secret societies are the one you're being deceived by those. And I even listened to the guy talk about property taxes and how they say they tax you on purpose. And they even said they send you to school to be babysitted for 12 years. I already, that's what it felt like to me as I started getting into teaching further in these last generations is I was doing more babysitting than teaching. And there's a lot of teachers who even said that. But the problem is that was set up from the beginning. That's all you were was a babysitter. The guy said that. He's like, we didn't, we weren't really teaching you what much of anything. He said, oh, that wasn't education. Yeah, that was indoctrination. And they started that in 1914. Okay. And um, yeah, because they wanted you, basically, you're, you're working to pay taxes. That's what it is. You're working to pay taxes and to pay bills because they're, they're, they're charging you for stuff that actually is not limited. And see, like I told you, in the Lakota, in that movie, they showed you the Sibula. Yeah, there was a city of gold over here, but there was also other cities of gold. It wasn't just one, okay? That's the lie. Because Tatanzambi knew that our presence would always bring forth the wealth, the riches in the land, because that's how it goes. The blessing always followed the Bakongo people, and they know that. So now, um, Yosefu therefore rose in Malia, his spouse, and went to Solomon and came to Batalama, which is not where you think, it's in Africa. And his family might be taxed in the city of his fathers. And when they came to the cave, Malia confessed to Yosefu that her time of bringing forth was come and she could not go on, on to the city and said, let us go into this cave. Now I know uh, this cave is connected to the cave of wonders. Um, the portal, that's why they said there's a portal. This is why it's off limits between the Canyon city, uh, the city, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, there's a portal that goes between, that's what they said, that there's, a, there's a thing that goes to Africa. There's a portal that shows you straight across into Africa that you can go and you don't have to get on an airplane. <laughs> so they're going to get mad about that. Okay. That's what they keep trying to hide. And it takes you to the place where this cave is. Okay. And they know in Africa where it's at because you actually have people that can go through portals and they're not telling you the truth. Okay. And they confess yourself for bringing forth that he should come. And at that time, the sun was very going, going down. Yosef, you hastened that he might fetch his midwife, her midwife. And when he saw an old Bayuda, there was no Hebrew, Eber is where that comes from woman who was a Salama, he said, pray, sim, Sambu, prayer, Sambu, come hither, good woman, and go into the cave, and you will see a woman just ready to bring forth. It was after sunset, the old woman and Yosefi were reached the cave, and they both went in. And behold, it was filled with the lights, greater than the light of lamps and candles, and greater than the light of the sun itself. Okay, let me explain something to you. This is how you will be 
like when you are actually following the Most High's way. Okay? You don't understand this. The infant was wrapped in swaddling clothes and sucking the breast of his mother. Now, I'm going to tell you why he did not cry. Because the, the spirit that makes babies cry is the Egyptian god that they call B-O-B-I. Because he's always crying. Okay? He's, it's, it's the concept. He had nothing to do with any false spirits of any kind that were being affiliated with us because what the Sanhedrin had done is they had brought back the Egyptian gods into our culture. And that was also the problem with Solomon when he built the wrong temples. And it was more than one. Okay? He built the wrong temples. He brought back the Egyptian way into our, into our culture. And he's the most I said, this is always our problem. We never want to leave Egypt alone. The Hamitic ways is not ours, Canaanite. Okay? That's what the Sanhedrin, why he called them hypocrites. You teach the people to break the Father's law means you follow in Baal. That's what that means. Okay? Behold, he was filled with lights, and the infant was wrapped in clothes. Basantu Malia Makongo. When they both saw the light, they were surprised. She was not a white woman because that's leprosy. You're going to find this out. Okay? The Mosai did not make a leper have a child. Go sit down somewhere. Yeah. Basantu Malia, she was, my wife has the same name, on which her woman said, Thou art very different from all women. Malia answered, This L I. Uh, it's L-I-A, L-Y-A, Malia. Okay? It's not a Hawaiian name. It's a Bakongo. It's a Banabeto Ibisolene name. And there's not any child to my Bena, so neither their woman like his mother. The old woman answer said, Oh, my lady. Oh, um, actually, what the word would be, she wouldn't have said lady, of course. This is why they don't want people to know the Kikongo connection. But then, like I told you, the wizards know how to speak Kikongo. <laughs> so don't even go there. Um, in Kento. So it would be in Kento. I have come hither that I might obtain an everlasting reward. Now, one of the things I want to make you understand is when Isaiah just was born, he received the same thing that Nzambi and Pungu gave to Nzinga, which was what we called Adamuya, Nzingi, okay, before he fell for his deception of his, um, it was his fake child, the original child that was taken away was part of it, and the witch who got changed, of course, with the dragon, okay? I am come hither that I may obtain an everlasting reward. Then our, our Nkento, Malia Marcongo said to her, lay thine hands upon the infant, which when she had done, she became whole. Oh, wait a minute. So touching the Messiah, Touching the Messiah is a baby. You are already healed. Okay. Oh, no, he had to go do that when he was grown. You lie. <laughs> okay. This is why they don't want to teach you these things about us. When you carry the spirit of the Most High, you can be healing people as a baby. Hello, you come touch them. Oh man, this child is woo. Okay, you can also. Um, this is why they don't. This is the whole purpose 
of why they put children through the regimen of all of these things that they invented to put in your body because they know if one of us comes down here and it's like, foo, powerful, okay? Yeah, that's a threat. You got to neutralize that. You don't understand what medicine is really for. Everything is coded, okay? You, I keep trying to tell Christians, you people are, are following the jackass. If you are following in righteousness, there's no reason for you to get sick. So why do you need something to stop it? Not to mention, the herbs do way better than you know. The ground has better medicine than you think. They started all of this stuff back in the day. Now watch this. This lady going to talk about it. Okay? Um, and you're going to see there's a lot of deception going on. Not a government. So she said, United States of America was bankrupt in 1950. And the secretary of the Puerto Rico received this. See, now what you don't understand is Puerto Rico was one of the independence from America since the 1800s. But of course, there was a war with that. Okay. Many people don't understand that the world and that and that and see before america became this corporation she's talking about um rome was already incorporated this is the problem they had a business going okay they learned this from them and it's actually uh seals that were done through the medici family the Corleones. Um, it was done through the Borgia. Uh, it was done through, um, oh, what is their name? That's why you talk about Shapiro. They, they talked about that's going to be the new, the potential vice president candidate. Okay. Shapiro, all of these names, you're going to find out, uh, uh, um, the Florence, Florence, uh, uh, the Florentines, the many of these people, even the Sicilians got you. The Sicilians were used to make sure Rome didn't use their corporation. Okay. Um, the concept was the families of of um, the of the world who are what you've heard about, we called about the solidarity, their understanding was no one was to ever allow the understanding that true power comes from King Congo. Okay. This started when the seven churches of, or the Zonzambi of Revelations were messed up. 
And our own people play a role in that. Even many of the uh, the priests who you now call the Malawi, the Malawi, the Kikuyu, um, many of these other, they don't, like I said, don't always believe what they're telling you. Okay. When the people who were given the positions of the priesthood, they were not in agreement with Isaiah. They were not. Okay. They did not want, this is why, you know, when they wanted to stone Malia Magdala and see these people, contrary to what they're going to keep lying to you, were working side by side with the Sanhedrin who were in fact the converted people. Because if you go back to Maccabee, who do you think it was that were evil that said, we're going to welcome these people in? Okay. It was our own. And the Most High got upset about this because we never learned that the temple is spiritual. And it's actually going to go by why they stoned Stephen, but Stephen was not a white person. He was a Banabeto of Isolele, a Bayuda, okay? And his lineage is to Abana and Saka Yokubi, that Esau is claiming to be all leprous people. No way, okay? That's why they had to change the definition of it, all right? So now you're going to hear her keep saying. Section because you know what it is, especially Puerto Ricans. Uh, Christine, Puerto Rico is considered a what again? A what? Puerto Rico is what? It's a um, commonwealth? commonwealth. Thank you. So that tells you it's a commonwealth. It's not a state. So then wait a minute. The IRS is operating out of a commonwealth, taxing people who live in what they call states. Okay, hold on. We'll get into that. So Puerto Rico keeps all the debt, <laughs> which is valid. Slave trade, and it's done every time a baby is born. 
Now, the reason why they had to cover that up is because the 14th, the, the so-called Emancipation Proclamation that they claimed they signed in uh, the 1860s was supposed to say that all chattel slavery was considered illegal. According, you cannot possess a human being um, as cattle, but that's the problem. Slavery, technically, you can still enslave a person as long as you give them something for it. Okay, people don't understand that. All slavery means is you cannot work for nothing. So the way it works is if they pay you a penny, they can't, you can't call it slavery. That's how they tricked you. If they pay you five cents, you cannot call it slavery. Because technically you did work and we paid you something. You're not a slave. That's a lie. <laughs> it's a big lie, okay? Because if they pay you anything, see, that's when they came up with the whole concept of minimum wage. Minimum wage is the, mo is the least amount we will pay you that doesn't consecrate as nothing, as a nothing for exchange. Because see, what slavery meant was we can no longer make excuses for why we're not paying you for your labor. OK, which is what they were talking about, the whole thing about reparations. It's like we did. They're calculating how many hours people spent. And I'm not saying it was everybody. I know it was the Banabeto of Isola that they're talking about. OK, they're talking about how much time was spent picking cotton, um, picking sugar cane. Um, it wasn't in tobacco and also these other things that they were doing. Um, that was not resulting in a wage exchange for your labor, where the corporation that was set up on the, because every plantation was set up like a corporation, okay? The, the slave owner was the CEO of the plantation, and he paid his working hands based upon the exchange of goods for when he sold his um, profit his product with the agriculture, when he went and he went and he shipped it, okay, there was a there was a note that was paid that you owe me X amount of dollars for this cotton of bale. Okay, so they would go out there and they would tell them how much the cotton was worth, okay, and then they were paying them based off of the value. And then what would happen was he was the person who collected the profit just like you do with a corporation and you have to share the income. Well, they didn't do that. They said, no, nah, we can't, we, uh, they, they would come with an excuse. Um, well, you know, um, it was so-and-so's fault that I can't pay you because he didn't do this for us. Okay. And that's when they would make us whip each other. Oh, you look, you made us not get paid. Okay. And then of course, there were the situations where we were being abused, our body was being, you know, uh, taken advantage of because at that point they saw us as a title, a title that says, I own you as property. I can do what I want. Okay, just like when you have a horse. Now, of course, there were those who try to be the do-gooders, and even when they say, "Man, why are you abusing that animal?" So they said, "Well, why are you abusing your?" You had, and it was funny because when you saw the movie about uh, uh, Django Unchained, okay, this is the type of thing that they claimed, they claimed they were trying to stop, even from the people with the north. The problem was with the North, and this is the deception, okay? You were still paid in the North, but it was practically nothing. So you basically didn't live. You still had a wage 
but it was nowhere near enough to keep where you had to sit there and figure out how to pay things. Okay. Um, the only way you receive any form of wealth is if for one, you were part of an organization that was separate, like secret societies, okay? Or your bloodline was part of the wealth of the nations. Like you came from princes and kings or whatever who were affiliated with these other beliefs, like Islam and Judaism, um, or even, you know, Roman uh, Christianity, but you were not, you were a black person, but your family was not the lineage of Abana and Saka Yakubi, so you were a different lineage, okay, Hamitic or whatever. Many of these people, you find them to get put in positions that were actually meant to um, bring the deception into place. And this is what we now call the boule and all these other things where there were certain people who then would own us the same way. And that's what you get when they say, well, black people own black people. Well, it wasn't about the fact it was about the bloodline. And they knew that because there were descendants of Kush who were affiliated with Nimrod. OK, that they themselves were given priority because of the fact that they were the Hamitic tribes who, in fact, were where the Canaanites came from and their gods. OK, so that's one of the reasons why they had to establish a process to where you're going to identify yourself as not the same as these people. Now, when it came to like what happened with the Native Americans and stuff like that, OK, their primary issue was they were sitting on property that they wanted to merchandise, like gold, uh, uranium, um, any type of element that was considered valuable. They wanted that land. OK, so in many cases, and this is always what happened, they would make an excuse as to why they needed to attack somebody, okay? And they would turn it into what was called a battle when that wasn't the case, okay? And many times it was instigated by someone who was sent out there to make claims that were false. Oh, these guys did this, especially when they said scalping, which came from the French, by the way. It didn't have nothing to do with Native Americans. They had, um, they wanted proof of your kill, that you did what you were supposed to, okay? And scalping actually didn't come from Native Americans. It goes way back to Babylonian practices. You're gonna find that out, okay? So now, like this lady's saying, this is why Puerto Rico is such a major issue. Like I told people, I said, a lot of the Caribbean is being used as fronts. That's why some of these islands, they don't ever want them to become um, territories of the U.S. Because then they become with the other, the other countries and they are in cahoots with this. It allows them to circumvent laws that we don't have. OK, but other nations do. But because there are allies and because they have a different system set up, they are able to manipulate this. OK, so that's kind of what happened when the situation like with Haiti. Haiti didn't want to be a corporation. They wanted to be sovereign. So they didn't want to be the corporation of France once they were free from slavery. So that's why they did what they did. And they really made them pay for it with the minimum amount they pay them to consider it not slavery, but it's like nothing. It's like, I'm paying you, I work for, and this is what they do in a lot of countries. And that's why they keep talking about old sweatshops and all these things. So they make it look like there's people helping and trying to fix these things but at the same time, it's also the same people that's causing it. And they're not telling you that, okay? 
So it's like I look good to try to help the people, but at the same time, I work for the same people that's causing it. And that's why Tatan Zombie was saying this is the hypocrisy of the world because all of this has been done through Christianity and Islam and Judaism. But the religions that they were already worshiping played the same role, even in Buddhism and Hinduism. There's always these caste systems about who is low and who's high. That's technically where America got it from. When they looked at the Indian caste system, you have the people up here and you got the people down here. Okay, this was incorporated into the corporate model of what they call classes. The middle class carries the, the lower class, but then gives the wealth to the upper class. And then they benefit off of the, off of the proceeds. Now, the reason why they don't want to talk about the concept of trading you on the stock market is because um, you are the futures. And also, what they call it, um, the stocks, how they do futures, and if you don't pan out, you know, these things. Because in their world, you don't exist. To them, you don't exist, but they have to make it look like it because they're making money off of everything, okay? So now the realization is, in this awakening, what we're trying to show you is, well, this was always a Luciferian concept that comes from the false gods because they always want to do what? Exploit whatever the father created as a way to hurt him and his own people, okay? So that we, because see, what they're doing, what they're doing is, we're being shamed. We're being blamed for leaving the father. And now many of our people have become bitter over this over the years. And this is why they're trying to stop us from becoming a nation again. They don't like it. They're going to sit there and play nice with you, but they know they want to tear your heart out. Okay. Like they did to Toko. Oh, yeah. You got a lot of people fronting that were around Toko himself. They wanted to tear his heart out back again. You're going to find this out. Because they didn't want to see a united Congo. And he talked about it when he was being kept away from certain people. And see the same thing with the Kimbanguists. They wanted to kill him again, too. There were those who actually had that attitude because they knew what Kimbangu was prophesying was to reunite what they took apart. Yeah, they didn't want that. So that's why I told people a Maya Mona or a Messiah person is going to make sure the whole world is unified under what we used to call Congo de Totara. And they don't want that. No. They want to stay under Lucifer Incorporated but oh, because you don't know, understand it is Lucifer Incorporated because we're making money off of this. The do-gooders must think that they have our father when what they basically have given you is a way for them to exploit what they hate. Okay? And it was always like that. Okay? So now, when you go to uh, the scripture, Matthew 5, and I'm going back, like I said, scratch this name, Rome made it up, whatever. It doesn't like he didn't exist. This is really Tammuz. Yes, I know they, they, they mix Esau and Nimrod together <laughs> to basically get Jesus. But then there was also one that actually, they were pretending to be him to fool us before he came and then the fullest after to claim that they were fulfilling the role of Adam, uh, that was happening. It's all lies. Seeing the crowd, he went up to the mountainside and sat and the students came to him. He began teaching them saying, Bilaka or uh, uh, Lusaka Munu, 
are the humble in spirit, for theirs is the sanctuary of the spiritual realm, which means that you belong to the Most High realm. Lusaka uh, Munu, those who yearn, that they shall be summoned. Okay? Lusaka Munu are the humble, for they shall be given the world. Okay? So the only way to get the Most High's creation is through humility. That's the way it works. Lusaka Munu are those who hunger and thirst for devotion, for they shall be filled. And what that means is the devotion that fulfills you will expose all of the lies, all of the lies of the enemy, not just partials. You will see it all. Lusaka Muna are the merciful, so they will see mercy. Okay, that's why we are supposed to be merciful. Now, when you're talking about people who are hypocrites, though, it's like we don't have hatred for them, but it's like, hey, I got to rebuke that. Yeah, we can be nice to you, and we're not going to treat you horrible, but you cannot continue for us to be in the same place because what you're doing is you're putting that spirit on me and I need to get rid of it. So anybody that actually is pre praying to Beelzebub, okay, we can't, we cannot be in the same connection. And that's how I know we're dealing with so many imposters because those people have to be excused from everybody else. They cannot be in the sanctuary. You either have to rebuke that spirit now before you come in here, or we're going to have a problem. Okay? Because you're going to spread that spirit on others. That's why a Mason can't teach nobody. Because it's he gonna put his spirit on other people, and that's why the world's blind. Because they know they're taking an oath to Lucifer. They claim, oh, we're making people better. You cannot make people better by being a hypocrite. And so in reality, your people and your parents, they train you to be a hypocrite from the time you grow up, whether they know the truth or not. Because like that lady just said, you are cattle to the people who ran this world. So then like, she even gonna go into saying all the civil rights stuff, everything was, was, was not worth a spit. And part of it is because our people were supposed to go home. Yeah, they said no, because they knew where we came from was in Bonsico. And then there, when we came from there, the people who were there, they sold it out. People act like they just went up there and did the Congo conference by themselves. That's a lie. The Prince Hall Freemasons helped them do that. That they turned into Masons over there. Okay? So our own people can become our worst enemies. And they'll sit there and play like they had nothing to do with it when they did. Okay? Our own people sold us out whenever they took the bribe of the stupid wizard. And we have been doing that for generations. It didn't just start 500 years ago. It went all the way back to 70 AD and more. This is the deception. Okay. Lusaka Munu are those who have been persecuted for the sake of devotion. For theirs is the spiritual realm. The only people, the only people who get persecuted are the Bakongo Aban Twey. Christians, you are basically being sacrificed to Baal. And they know that. Same with Islam. Same with, same with Judaism. It's all sacrifices to Baal. They're lying to you. Christianity is the Nicolaitans. That's what it is. It's the Gnostics. Okay? That's who you are. But there are people who know they are, you are, they're lying to you. Okay? Be joyful and exceeding grab, for great is your reward in the sanctuary, for this is just as they persecuted the prophets. You are the salt of the earth. The only way to be the salt of the earth is when you teach the truth of Tatanzambi in the spirit. Okay? 
if you go and mix anything with Canaanites, you are not salt. You're just a talking, blabbering person that's giving people information that really doesn't change them. Because they can also shame you into it. And fear doesn't have a lot of effects on people. But true changing means it's your desire to do so. Not because somebody made you do it. It's a lie. It has become good to nothing to accept to be tossed out and trampled underfoot. Yep. And so we got jacked up. Anybody who chose to be, but I'm saying, yes, we did also get hit when we were the salt. But in those cases, we received our reward. Like you can't believe. One does not light a candle and, and put it under a container. The only light that saves the world is the Banabit, is the God of the Banabit to Son of the King Kongo Tatanzami Sonino Ni Samala, I am that I am, Almighty. Okay. No other, no, only the black God can save you. And don't think just because you see other black gods, they're going to save you. No. Just because you see Asian gods or white gods or whatever you see, that doesn't mean they're there to save you. Not everybody's working in the truth. No. No comedic God going to save nobody. No comedic God or anyone dealing with anything that came from the Canaanites is going to deceive, is going to help no anybody, no Cain. Let your light just shine before people. Like I said, you can be shining with ignorance. That's why they made you an ignorant, intelligent person. That They gave you head knowledge, but you're ignorant to the truth. <laughs> the real truth. You can always think you know what's going on. That's when people say we're speaking the truth. Okay, let me check this. Do you even know what spirit was poured out on you? No, the spirit of God. What God? Now, that doesn't mean they can't talk about it. It's just that they don't know what spirit they're talking about. It's the spirit of the black, true black God that was poured out on you. Not the one that looked like Zeus or Jupiter, the drawing of the, of the Egyptians and the, the Baal. You don't understand. There was a white God among the Egyptians. It's a lie. They know that. I don't think that you have come to abolish the scriptures or prophets I have not come to abolish it, but to complete. So that means he didn't change a doggone thing. The sorcerer going to be the one keep telling you that. He didn't change no feast days. He didn't change no days of the week, no months, no years. None of that. That's why when Tokyo was trying to put it back, that's why they sent him to prison so many times. He was trying to put it back. It's the imposters that kept telling you lies. So, same was Kimbangu. They were all trying to put it back. <laughs> okay? But they have resistance by so many people. One jot or letter shall perish from the scripture until all is accomplished. Correct. And we're getting close. That's why they're talking about turning the page. One page is for the book of Lucifer. The other page is for the book of the Most High. Thus, Lucifer has a book. And some of you are actually reading it all day long. <laughs> Whoever shall break one of these instructions and teach people in the same way shall be invited last into the sanctuary of the spiritual realm. So your invitation. Oh, yeah, it's in the mail. No, you ain't getting it. You're, in, you're not coming in there. See, that's the thing that Christians don't understand. You are teaching the children to be a stumbling block to themselves and to each other. And you're and you're being happy and you're being exceedingly glad about it. And the, and the other and the rich people are sitting there laughing at you because they're you're helping them rob and steal and become hypocritical judges when they themselves should be also they're guilty. The Supreme Court of America. In addition to what do they call the um I forget the name of the British one. The House of the House of Um Lords, I think is what it's called. 
their their whole supreme all the supreme courts all the big courts of every colonial history is a hypocrite because all of them are doing canaanite gods history they're getting the law from mesopotamia not from the most high go go somewhere that's what this lady's talking about hey this ain't the right law. Yeah, that's why they did that. You're doing Egyptian law. 100%. Do not even think about that you're not. I told you, they make they love to put people in prison because this makes them feel power. N'Golo. Okay. They make, that's why you see the biggest courthouses, the biggest jails, all of these stuff. That's what people keep saying. How come we got more jails than schools? Well, because that's the whole point. You don't get it. That's part of it. They, that's intentional. You're going to find out. You have heard that it was taught in ancient times. It says here. Whoever shall break one of these instructions and teach people, they shall be invited last. But whoever teaches you shall, but whoever teaches them shall be preeminent in the sanctuary of the spiritual realm. That means the law, statutes, and commandments were given to you by King Congo Tatanzambi. When we tell you to follow them in spirit and in truth, Okay, this is going to raise up the heavens. But the problem is you got people trying to teach you the most high's way and they are under oath to Lucifer and they lying about it. No, you cannot. You're a hypocrite. Okay. At the same time, they think they're not. They think they're following the Bible. The Bible comes from the Jesuits. That's not the word of the Most High. They put it in there, but that's not the full truth. 66 books. Yeah, right. You're going to see way more scrolls than 88. And on top of that, there was nobody walking around with a Bible in their hand. The only reason why it started to happen later is to point out the fact that let me show you how to actually interpret this. Oh, that's just your interpretation. The only spirit that can interpret the Bible is King Congo, Tatanzambi. That's it. No Zeus looking nothing. Zeus cannot interpret nothing right. He's going to tell you the truth with a lie. Okay, go sit down somewhere. Okay? You're going to, the, I'm telling you, all of you keep celebrating the 25th of December, you're going to the Saturnalia party and you ain't going to like it. Nobody will. Your children going to hate you, okay? Everybody going to be hated with that when they find out. Oh, my gosh, what did you do to us? What's going on? Surprise! Yeah, surprise on you. Going to shock people, man. I told you, do not trust. Keep listening to the. I'm telling you, I know where you go. I've seen it. You don't think I'm lying to you? You don't go nowhere anywhere near the right hand of the father they making money off of that dancing prancing yelling the people running around the church oh yeah i know jesus no the, the, the most high looking at you he like <laughs> that's not even how this works okay if you have the holy spirit they won't even let you in the church let alone run around and dance and prance because you're going to see that pastor and you can make his, you can literally take in your hand and see him standing there blaspheming the father and make him drop when the Most High start doing these things. You don't get it. He's, he's being merciful right now and now he's going to see you're going to see, like I talk about, they talk about stoning in the Bible. Yeah. Okay. You talk about the millstone thrown into the sea. 
right here. Do you know how many people are going to be doing this? The millstone around the neck? Okay? I can't even count it. You don't understand. Because the Banabetu of Isolele were never supposed to learn the knowledge of tree of good and evil. No. They're only supposed to learn from the tree of life. You don't have the tree of life or you wouldn't have to work two different types of jobs. You wouldn't have to go and worry about paying money. All they're doing. You getting, you sitting there, people robbing banks, uh, shooting up things. You know, I need money today. I got to pay my bills. They getting a kick out of this because they don't care. They hated the fact that they had to serve under all of the other tribes. And then, of course, the Most High changed them. You're going to see that they got, they got changed and they didn't like it. And the stuff that he did to them, the Phoenicians, that's part of the risk. <laughs> you don't even know. Okay, I was going to read the Geneva Bible. But if... there, there is a bond trust account set up, and they trade us on the stock market. Mm-hmm. They do trade you on the stock market, and they just lost trillions. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, of course, they're going to say, no, that's not true course because then they're going to really go down the drain uh the geneva bible they banned this for a reason of course it's still the, the wrong image now when it talks of now when he's saying that children obey your parents Understand this. He's not talking to people that are worshiping a pagan god. That's the problem. This is the deception. Okay? He's not going to tell people to go obey someone. I mean, yeah, we kind of still have to do this and we're raising our families. But he had a big problem with what he said. Everybody's parents were, were made to, to be set up in this system because you're obeying your parents to go into the pit. And they think they're not taking you there when they are. That's the problem. This is why we have issues sometimes arguing with our parents. Okay? Now, the father was saying, you still got to honor your mother and father. But you also, your parents should have listened to certain things. If they were really paying attention, they would hear you that they're being blinded. OK, because what was happening to is, is you were conditioned to take your children to Lucifer, whether you knew it or not. And many of us came down here saying, yo, I don't think this is right. Oh, don't question it. Yeah, you were conditioned that way by the secret societies, because then you would have realized I'm wasting my time. Yeah. You would have noticed it, the education system and everything. All right. And now they're telling you that they were wasting your time. And that's why this lady's crying because she's like, yo, they really did us dirty. What the heck? Yeah, because they don't like you. They don't like nobody. Okay. They can't stand nobody. They can't even stand each other. <laughs> Whoa, you don't even know. Okay. Children obey your parents in the inf in the infumo. Now, see, in the informal. So what they're saying is, if your parents are in the Most High, they're not going to teach you to a pagan god. No way. So the problem is, we were given two different spirits, and that's why many of us were, like, having our problems. And then you have the psychiatrist who was paid by the secret societies to go and make up stuff to tell this person, Oh, yeah, he has this problem and that problem when they caused it. And they know they caused it because you were the threat. The problem is black people are the threat. 
not spe but specifically the Banabetu of Isolele. So they had to make everyone who's black that isn't acting right act like you have a mental problem. No, you do not. You're trying to show the people, hey, you stupid jackass, this is not the God. Okay? But they had to convince us that what we were doing was right. That's why when one dude said, I didn't want to go to school. Yeah, I didn't want to go to school either because I'm sitting there like, huh? I knew it was stealing my soul. But they don't want to tell you that. Okay? And then they get you addicted to things that you're trying to get away from. And a lot of that stuff was on purpose, too. You're going to find that out. They wanted to make you dirty on purpose so that you wouldn't manifest. Um, honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Now, we're honoring our mother and father, but your mother and father are committing adultery. This is the problem. And not against each other, against the God that's supposed to be serving. This is the issue that continues to happen in the world today. Everybody is committing adultery. Practically. I'm saying everybody. Christianity is committing adultery. Islam is committing adultery. Judaism is committing adultery. Buddhism. Everybody's committing adultery. Because you are not praying to the real God when you are worshiping two different ways. You cannot be a pagan and a non-pagan together and say you worship our father. No way. This was all a setup because Esau was rejected. So everybody, Ishmael was rejected. So everybody got to be rejected. That's why I told you, the people who were supposed to be a light unto the Gentiles said, we don't want to do it. That's what happened. And then we were called to come back and do it. Hey, be the light. No, don't let them be the light unto the Gentiles. We go broke. That's the end of the party. Yeah, the party. You got that right. Okay, the party you don't want to know about. That now they're putting it out on TV and they're showing you what's always going on. The transgenderism has been going on for years. Just so They had people like that in the... You thinking... That they just started dressing up men and women and men and women. They've been doing this in the 1500s, the 1400s. They had people doing this already. They had these people doing this long time ago. Oh, but we received Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was a cross-dresser. That's Nimrod. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get, I'm not going, we're going to take the gloves off now. The Jesus Christ you worship was bisexual. But let me say more than that. Okay? He is the sin in God. So he can't take away none of your sins. But he's going to make it look, but you make it money like you can. That's why you don't hear. You just do. That's why you think you can run around. It's funny because, um, they showed this video, this picture. A Muslim lady was telling a woman in a bathing suit, you're going to hell. And the woman in the bathing response was, you're already there. Yep. You are. Muslims, Christians, Judaism, every religion is in hell right now. You're going to be shocked. You're in hell right now. The only way to see the Father in the Spirit in the heavens is if you actually are on the list. <laughs> Telling you. And then those people have to show you how to be on the list. That's why they, the, the people who are on the list, they don't want, no, don't show them that this is Atlantis. Don't show them this and that. Enchantment under the sea. Ha <laughs> ha, they got you with that one. Okay, this is you always in Atlantis, man. This one, somebody tried to tell me I've been to Atlantis. You're standing in it. What are you tell? Yeah, I know you've been to the one that's under the water, but you're now in the one that's above the water. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you're gonna be like, what? Okay, 
You're in the mouth of the dragon. We're trying to get out. Hello? Okay, let me go to where he said. Uh... It says, on the day he will issue an order for the whole land so that the priests of the land and all of the saints will be seized, saying, you will repay double every gift and all of the good things which my father gave to you. He will shut up the holy places. So that right now, this is the process where you're coming to. He's going to shut up. He's going to make everybody reset. That's going to be um, supposedly in this Nineveh party. Okay, you're going to be shocked about this. And then he's going to try to kill everybody who's in the truth. But now, that's what the Most High is going to be. He will order sacrifices, abominations, and bitter evils will be done. Okay, this, a, lot of this, a lot of this scripture that I'm telling you has already happened. They're not telling you that. So that's what I was going to read to Ephesians where it says 6 and 12. This is what it originally said. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the worldly governors, the princes of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness, we are in ye high places. So what we're saying is all of your wicked people sit in castles. And mansions. And high levels of government. And that's why the lady's saying there's a government above the government. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You are already under the, the rule of the, of, the, of the false gods. That's why the Most High knew that the end of the world was going to be like the days of Noah, where he was going to have to rescue, once again, the people who don't learn not to worship Cain. Like the days of Noah, Cain was running the world. Yeah, he's doing it again. Now he got to go rescue people from Cain. That's what happened then. It got to happen again. But it ain't going to just be animals. It's going to be people. That's why they want to destroy everybody that's going to be rescued. You don't even know. They're trying to destroy the people who's going to do the rescuing and who's going to be rescued. Yeah, that's why they want to shut down everything now. It's coming out. Yeah, go voting for these people there. Go ahead. They don't want you to go to the Most High. I'm telling you that. A person who works for Lucifer is not going to take you to the most high, period. And when I mean work for him, I'm saying that they purposefully are misleading you down the wrong path and getting paid for it. It's one thing to be ignorant. I know there's some pastors that's out there that they don't know this stuff. Yeah, they just learn from the people who taught them. But the people that there are teachers that they have been taught by that they know they have an objective. Do not give anything to the real people. We get the bread, they get the crumbs. <laughs> and they're laughing about it. And they're standing up there putting on a great show. And you see them people swinging jackets <laughs> and the people falling down. And I'm like, do you not understand that that's in ki that's Kishi? Ki Kishi? Kissy, not, not, not the good in Kissy, but that's Kihishi, dog bone. That's the magic, that's the wand. Okay, you can turn clothes into stuff that will mess you up. You can use a microphone and turn it into a magic wand. They do it all the time. They put you to sleep, count, 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 boom. They put you in hypnosis. See, the problem is I could not be hypnotized like the way they have done everybody else. And many people are like that. When they cannot put you under the complete spell, that's when you got to go. When you don't, when you keep saying, man, why do I feel like somebody's trying to hex me? 
on something. I even told my dad, I'm like, am I missing something here? Why is it that I'm struggling? And now I found out why nobody want to believe me. I'm like, yeah, it's because they already knew you came to expose, not to follow. You came to reveal, not to keep going with the flow. Those type of people have to go. And see, you think that they're not even in the places where Toko and Kimbangu walked? You fool yourself. Because there's many people like him. As you will soon find out, they put it in the show. I don't tell them this. Hey, you don't know who's on anybody who's on that Maya Mona list is the power of the most high. You don't get it. Anybody who's on the list of the Messiah is the power of Tatanzambi, is the true kings and queens. And they need to eliminate these people because now you're going to expose all the schemes. Yes, the people who know that they're on the list or on the list or people who are on the list, they're going to expose the scheme. Hanoka is not a Christian. Enoch was not a Christian. Elijah is not a Christian. They're not a Muslim. They're not, they don't practice no Judaism, my foot. Okay? Elia, they tried to kill him. Everybody, they tried to, didn't they try to kill Isaiah? Isaiah, they sawed him asunder. Our people did that. So don't come telling me that they no black people sell us to nobody. Get out of here. The Banabeta of Isola, they kill each other all the time to try to get away to do the most high's way. You have been bamboozled by the, by the stupid devil if you think that we didn't kill each other already for years and do sorcery against one another and try to and wish bad things. Why you think we out here struggling now, living the so-called dream that you basically have to kill yourself to get it? It's like, don't you understand? The father don't make you have to kill yourself to receive nothing. Practically. They are making you beg like a dog. They're dangling carrots out here and they created a system of rewards. Yes, rewards for performing for the stupid wizard. You're going to be pissed. I'm telling you, all this Olympics and everything. Yeah, give me the gold medal. That gold medal going to strangle your neck when Tatan Zombie get here. Okay? You, 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 you doing it for the hangman. Okay? The, 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 the goat god is rewarding you to put the noose around your neck, man. <laughs> okay? You think you're still not hanging from the tree? You foolish yourself. Just because you out here breathing don't mean you're not getting strangled. They're just doing it slowly. Okay? They don't have to hang you from a tree to kill you. That's the point. All they got to do is cook you slowly. And you can still, some people die fast, some people die slow. But you're still going to go. You see? You're gonna, everybody, you don't even know. You're worshiping the hangman that do the noose. Okay? Yes. He, you worship in the one, let me give you how much rope you need before you hang yourself. Yeah, he gave some people a lot of rope. And then you go to the most high, hey, you hanging yourself. What do you mean? You worship in the God that got decapitated. That's why people get mad at the Talmud and they're laughing at you. Jesus Christ in the Talmud was his head cut off. Yeah, <laughs> because it's Nimrod, because it's Esau, because it's Tubal Cain. Yes, he was. He was beheaded, okay, by Insemu. The real, the, the your so-called Jesus, we had his head cut off, the son. He wasn't crucified like that. He the one crucifying people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Apollo got it. Really, we, we, we gone, okay. You, you're going to find out, Okay. And I mean, it's sad because you really think 
and you've really been conditioned, think you are going to be saved when you are a pagan and you don't see it. Everybody is re-crucifying the true Messiah, even his own. All the witches and warlocks out here, oh no, he didn't have it. La, 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 la. That's a that's a that's this, that's that. Yeah, the wizard gonna keep flipping it because he tried to steal his identity and he's still doing it. Oh, he was never prophesied. Oh, this and that. Oh, this is only the only last Mayamona. What? You're on the list. We are all Mayamona. Stop listening to the jackass. Okay? Ha! <laughs> zombie by you. Thank you. See, hallelujah. If you're on the list, you are all Mayamona. Hello, McFly. Somebody home? You don't understand this. Everybody going to find out we're supposed to be off been off of the Roman stuff. That's what Tokola said. I can't finish it. Everybody want to be a Roman out here. That's what he meant. Everybody want to be with Zeus. Everybody want to worship the, the, the stupid goat god. That's why he said, fine, I'm going to get some more. They're going to tell you to stop the nonsense. Now they think they're going to win. Yeah, we got y'all. Yeah, we 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 stealing it. We, we catching y'all. Watch this. The most I like, you people don't ever learn. I already got this. You are done. It's over. The game is already finished. I beat you already. All you're doing is running around. Is it even these so called people they over there shooting? He can wake them up. You don't get it. People are like, oh, he's out here killing all the Bakongo. Okay, watch me do this. They know they do the claps. Okay, watch this. Didn't Toko come up from the dead? Hello? How many times they killed Toko? Are you talking about all oh, these shooting the people in the Congo? Watch this. Let me do a Simon Toko on these children now. You people don't listen, man. Yes, it's not right what they're doing over there, but that's your politicians selling you out. All of them. Okay? They're working for Esau, and they act like they're working for Jacob. No way. Okay? The little children are suffering because you want to say that Zeus is your Lord and Savior. The world is suffering because you think Jupiter is the most high and a planet for that matter. Damn stupid ass. He's not a planet. It's the damn devil. Go out somewhere. Mars. Oh, yeah, we're going to Mars. They're going, when they say they're going to Mars, they're going to go see Lucifer. Stupid. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're going to Lucifer. We're going to see Mars. Man, you don't even get it. These, these stupid reptiles got you idiot. Oh, dinosaur and all this. They the damn dinosaur running the world. <laughs> this stupid reptile ass. <laughs> hey. Woo! You don't even know. The dinosaur running the world is shape-shifting and they're doing the demon on them, the dragon. The most I kill all of them things that they make. <clears throat> them fire they're talking about millions of years ago. The most I send the, the fire down. Bam! Get this thing off my planet. And he saved a few of them. Now they're still worshiping them. Man, give me a break. They were riding the thing that they're showing you. <laughs> they're riding the, 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 the dragon. <laughs> Woo, we've been bamboozled. They're riding them thing. Yeah, go left. They, they heard it like they did, they did in the movie. Because <laughs> they used them to build the cities. Hey, yeah, yeah, it's a zombie. Damn stupidness. Oh yeah, yeah, we've really been a bamboozle. Anyway, let me do the song. We're gonna end. Oh, I wanted to do Luca or the wisdom. They tell me doing the wisdom. Um, this is why they took this book out and say if it's not in the sixty-six books, it's not the word of God. 
Let me tell you why this is not in there. Yes, Solomon didn't always get it right. He, he messed up. He built Lucifer Temple. Okay. But he did say this. Love righteousness. You rulers of the earth. The problem is y'all out here talking to these rulers. You think they're righteous. Not even close. Not even close. Okay. Think of the informal and goodness and seek him in sincerity of heart. Because he found by those who do not put him to the test. Yeah, they always putting him to the test. You don't even, they always challenging him. Yeah, let's go. Let's see what you got, Tatan Zombie. King Kong, let me see what you got. Ha, ha, ha. Watch me do this. And he manifests himself for those who do not trust him. That's this. And manifests himself to those who do not distrust him. If you don't trust, people say, oh, I trust God. He like, but it's Zeus you're trusting in. And God we trust is not who you think. Gold, oil, and diamonds. Okay, the dog God. That's who you're trusting in. And manifest themselves to those who do not trust him. And when his Angola is tested, exposes the foolishness. Yeah. When you keep testing the most high, he's going to expose you for an idiot. And now watch what he's going to do to all these false prophets that's feeding themselves and not the sheep. You should not be poor at all if the kingdom of Kongo the Totala is actually here. Nobody should be. Nobody was. You don't get it. They're lying to you. We had everything. We just make a stupid, we did stupid mistakes. Like a knucklehead. Because wisdom will not enter a deceitful soul and dwell in the body enslaved to sin. This is why I do what I do is we do the repentance before we start teaching. We have to do prayer. We have to do we have to do reconciliation. Today I did a purification. Okay, the wisdom cannot come out. Okay, to a soul that's looking to deceive you to go the wrong way. Okay, or dwell in a body who's a slave to sin. What does a slave to sin mean? You're in debt. Now here's where the most high gonna gonna jack some people up. There's some people out here, and like the, the lady said, the government's supposed to pay your debt. They're trying to put sin on people or debt on people that are on the list. No. You we you owe them, not the other way around. And see, because we got taught that we need to go into debt, that's a lie. So he said, now watch me. I got it. You see the stock market done crash, plummet. Okay? It's going to keep going more. It's going to crash. The stock market is going to crash. But the deception is, it isn't going back to Esau. You better believe it's not. The stock market is going to crash. The dollar is going to crash. Everybody's system going to crash. China, Russia, everybody going to crash. Okay? Everything's going to be destroyed, people. Everybody who's sitting there with big money, yeah, I'm a billionaire, woo, yeah, is going to be broke, worse than broke, like a joke. He's going to reverse all of this. You think they're going to do this in the, yeah, right, ha, 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 yeah. No, Lucifer, like, <laughs> see, that's the whole thing about Cain. Lucifer knew that Tanzami was not a liar. He's going to do it. But he's going to make you think he ain't going to do it. Or he's going to make you think it ain't going to happen to you. Oh, no, we got this. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're going to get it. Ooh. Wait and see. I have told people when he said the last shall be first and the first shall be last, 
He meant it. He meant it. It ain't going to be no, oh, yeah, I'm just talking out my booty here. No. It's going to happen. For a holy and disciplined spirit will flee from deceit. Tremaine, me, everybody. We have to be fleeing from deceit. But the problem is when you're standing in front of a, of a sorcerer, you got to run out of there. See, and the problem is we're trying to flee from deceit and we're surrounded. <laughs> you see? It's like we're surrounded. Yo, where we going to go? We got to get out of here. Okay? You, in Babylon, you're surrounded by deceit. In Egypt, Egypt is the whole world. We're trying to flee. Tatazami, where are we going to flee? Where are we going to go? Yeah, don't think we're going over there to any of these people trying to make this. The, um, the, they're going to force you to think about the physical temple and not the spiritual. Oh, that was what I was supposed to read. Somebody sent me something. Uh, what was it? Oh yeah, what what Stephen said. Step, step uh, the real name. His name was. Uh, let me see if I can get the Congo. This is why you're gonna get stolen. <laughs> Watch this. The Most High said, "Remind people what what got Stephen stoned." Stephanie. Uh, let's see. Uh, see, they're not translating it. I got to find the Bible. Uh, the Kikongo. Stepani, I think is it. Stepani. Okay, so watch this. Um, for a holy and disciplined spirit will flee from deceit and will leave foolish thoughts behind and will be ashamed at the approach of unrighteousness. I'm always ashamed because I'm always trying to figure out how to get away from the unrighteousness the TV is unrighteous. The, out, the, the, the cities are unrighteous. Everything is unrighteous. That's why Kuso Congo said everything must be purged. The whole world, even these cities. I said, don't think Africa is going to be safe, people. A lot of those cities over there are going to collapse that have built off of the lies of the people doing false religion. Watch. For wisdom is a kindly spirit, but it will not but it will not free blasphemers from the guilt of their words. A blasphemer is anyone who worships Baal, period. No matter what name he goes by. Because Tatanzambi is witness to those Tatoli, to their utmost, innermost, innermost feelings and a true observer. So the innermost feelings of those who are on the list are saying, we don't want to serve this stupid bail. Get out of my face with that crap. And we're not going to idolize anyone above the Father. No way. Okay? We don't serve anyone but the... That's why Kusur Kongo said, I am a servant. We all supposed to be Tusadi of the Creator, but not listening to people who they themselves are leading you to idolize lesser than the father. Kuso Congo, Fumayusu, you're going to be shocked when you're going to show how people didn't listen to this. He said, we are the same. We are the same when you actually do the father's will. He is your brother. We are, we, you cannot be, we cannot be, none of us can be the, the brother and sister or relative of the Messiah mm -hmm. if we are teaching people to break the Father's laws. No one, you cannot follow the Roman calendar and tell me you're not a lawbreaker. Get out of here. You cannot do it. You're supposed to, once you know the truth, you get off of that calendar. We're supposed to. I'm sure Toko was trying to do it. They kept putting him in trail and killing people. The most I was like, yeah, anybody who don't want to follow Rome, they're trying to kill somebody. All right. 
If you don't want to be in Babylon, why you think they throw Daniel into the lion den? Hello? <laughs> they want to do to, worse to us. All right. Um, we're going to go to Acts. Then said the high priest, which is what Ngangan Zombie is. Now, they, they used to say Kohenim. We didn't accept it because we were Gangan Zombie, Gangan Vala, but whatever. Are these things so? And he said, Banabetu, Mpangi. They didn't say no, man. This is all English. The Tatan Zambi, the God in Fumo of Glory, appeared unto our father Abana. His name was not Abraham, but whatever. When he was in Mesopotamia, who was ruling there? The God of sin. Before he dwelt in Chara. This is why I told you, Charo or Chara is a demon. And he said unto them, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and come into the land which I will show thee. And he didn't go to know where you see Palestine right now. I already showed you that with the war of the, the war between uh, the war that took place between Ramses and the king of the of the um, Hittites. That was considered at that time still part of Kemet when he was in Mesopotamia. Then came he out of land of Chaldea and dwelt in Chara, and from thence, when his father was dead, he removed from his land wherein he knew. And the most, when his father was dead, is when the Most High set his house on fire and brought down the fire that they put in the apocalypse of Abraham. The Most High destroyed Terah. He burned him. That's why now he's Abraham. Okay? And he gave speak on it wise, this was a seed should sojourn in the strange land that he should bring them into bondage and entreat them for 400 years. And we did a repeat because it said we're going to go back again. And then it actually said that. And the nation to whom, this already took away the rest of the other scriptures because it actually said that. And the nation to whom they shall be in bondage will, I judge. So, whoever like that lady was saying in the deception, whomever his children are ever in bondage to, he will judge. But now they're telling you it's science. It's it's uh, weather weather patterns. It's uh, mother nature. It's they're coming up with all these stupid things. You are in the land of thorns and thistles. That's why you need manure. <laughs> I hate manure. From the stupid cow god. Okay. And after that, and he gave the covenant of circumcision. So Abana begot. Now he didn't mean to turn it into what's called condemnation, which is what they were talking about in the New Testament. We were killing each other over this. We were killing each other over everything because we had those false spirits. He said, it's about pity, not condemnation. Circumcise your heart more than your loins. It doesn't mean you did away with it. It just means that that's more important. And the patriarchs moved with envy, sold yourself, see? And he gave the covenant. And also the covenant of circumcision was also your heart, by the way. You don't get that. And he circumcised it on the eighth day, and the soccer begot your kubi, and the kubi begot the 12 patriarchs. And the patriarchs moved with envy, sold yourself. You do not tell me no African then sell no African into slavery when the Banabetu of Isolele were African. We did it before, we did it again. <laughs> I just read the 12 tribes to you. Yes, we did. We did it back in the day and we did it again. And he delivered him out of all afflictions and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh. And Gippity, and it, this wasn't no Esau Edom people. Esau Edom fought the Egyptians, and so did the Canaanites and the Ashkenazi people. They fought against the Egyptians. They weren't. They were prisoners of war. We got sent there out of punishment for taking for making the Most High mad once again. Okay, if the Most High would have fought Egypt, and He was with us, 
Egypt would have would have been destroyed then completely. Okay. He don't fight, but he don't fight where he loses. Um the second time, and then Yosef who called his father Yakubi to him and all his kindred, three score and fifteen souls. So Yakubi went down into Gibbeti and died, and he and our fathers, and were carried over to Sikkim and laid the sepulchre for Abana, bought out of the money out of Amar, the father of Sikkim. But when the time of promise drew nigh with Tatanzambi, he swore to Abana the peoples grew and multiplied in Gibbeti. Now we're doing the same thing, and you know what they're doing to us. We have become, they said, the Hebrews have become too numerous by the people who say we they are the Hebrews. So now you know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. The Banabeti, we saw that they have become too numerous. Oh, yeah. We know the feet. Now they're doing what they're doing to us. The same dealt, dealt suddenly with kindred and evil and treated our fathers so that they cast out their young children to the end that they might not live. But in time Masa was born, he was exceedingly fair. Well, guess what? We had to do Masas again. Yeah, because the Christians don't know they are the Pharaoh. They worship in the Pharaoh, <laughs> the Pharaoh's gods. You're still Egyptians. Yeah, go look. That's what the George Washington is an Egyptian symbol. Why do you think it's there? And nourish up is always oh, a George Washington monument. No, it's an Egyptian obelisk. Knuckle McFly. Jeez. And when he was cast out, Pharaoh's daughter took him and nourished him for his own son. That's why you cattle, like the lady was saying, and that's why you worship the holy cow god who's trading people all over the world. And Masa learned the wisdom in Egypti, and you're doing, uh, you're doing all of those pagan festivals the Egyptians did, just like then, now. <laughs> and they're mixing it in our way, and it's not. It's an abomination. Because it's a stupid down wizard. And he's seen him suffering. He defended him, avenged him. So now, of course, he's going to keep talking. So he gave his speech. Okay. And so he was basically showing them the part. He talked about this part. Solomon built him a house, built him a house. Howbeit the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet, even my throne and earth is my football. What house will you build for me? Okay. Hath not my hand made all things? Yet stiff, these stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears, you do always resist the Mandavella, as your fathers did, so do ye. Yep, and we're doing it again. We are doing it again since Portuguese came in. And these people think they got the Mwanda. Not when you're doing a pagan ritual, you don't. Get up out of here. Which the prophets have not yet. And they lay slain, which showed them, okay, who received the law of the Dipset of Malikis have not kept it. See, by the who received the law but the deposition of the Maliki Congo and have not kept it. So the Maliki Congo are the ones that help you get the law. That's why you say you obey the spirit, you obey the law. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart and they gnashed it within their teeth. This is what's happening with the Christians, with the Muslims and everybody else. We sit in them telling them, you are doing the temple of the one that the Most High destroyed. And they're getting mad. They're getting pissed off. No, I know the Most High. Yeah, okay. That's what's going on right now. The Christians are getting ticked off. No, I don't hear. Ah, the Muslims, no. Judaism, no. Okay, because they are Pharisees. They are Sadducees. They are hypocrites acting like they know the truth because they work for the hypocrite, the sorcerer. Okay? So now, 
But being full of the money, well, looked upset, and he saw. So then they said, and but he being full of money, he looked up steadfastly and saw the glory of the zombie yesterday. Not no Jesus standing at the right hand of the zombie, and said, "Behold, I see the heavens open, and I've been on moon to stand on the right hand of the zombie." Then they cried out with a loud voice, and they, then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. He's filled with the Holy Spirit. So guess what he saw? The Father and the Son. You people don't read your Bible. Oh, nobody knows what the Father looks like. Oh, nobody knows what God looks like. Baloney. You deceive. Oh, he's this white God. He's this, no, you, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Woo! And yes, they do have the fake black ones tri tripping you out. Okay? But no, you're going to know the real ones. Then he cried out with a loud voice, and they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witness laid their clothes at the young man's feet, whose name was Saula. So Saola was there, and they stoned Stephen, calling upon, calling upon them, saying, "And Fuma received my spirit," and he kneeled down. So that's the deception you don't understand. Anybody, and I do mean anybody, that wants to actually be in the truth, the hypocrites want to kill you. Always. Rome ain't going to let you stand there and talk about Simon Toko all the time if you're doing it right and not want to do something about it. They know who he is, but they know who the imposters they created too because they were involved in that. Don't think they weren't. They know that the CIA, the FBI, everybody, all these agencies, all these Mason secret societies, all of them, their job is to stop the prophecy. No way. They got militaries. They got all, all over the world designed for this. They do not want to see the kingdom of Conde and Total unite at all. Now you're going to see the most high going to, Cain don't ever learn. Everybody is my Amorna that restores the kingdom of the most high. Everybody is in the Most High's presence when they are working to restore the kingdom of the Most High. Everybody who is trying to focus on the truth and get away from the lies is the Maya Mona. Not standing there keeping you doing feast days that's still in the wrong cycle, okay? Roman stuff, no way. The whole purpose of a true Maya Mona is to split you away from pagan worship completely and get out of it. No affiliation with Canaan whatsoever. If you're going to think I'm wrong, good luck. Because the sorcerer is always going to keep you in Canaan. It's a damn lie. Okay? It's all lies. He's going to tell you the truth with a lie. The most high changed everything. Oh, the most high this, the most high. You got to check the spirit to see if it really comes from the most high. The most high's time laws and seasons do not change. And the one who is the high priest is not going to contradict him. He said it. I did not come to do away with anything that my father put, but now I am the high priest of it because i did not commit a crime against the father you keep believing all these people who have committed crimes against the father to say that they have replaced him you better watch yourself even the real maya mona said it's he's speaking from my loins even the kimbangu said he is with me okay never replace nobody 
And then you're going to tell me that, oh, it's a false doctrine. That's a witch. That's a warlock. Yes, they changed it. Yes, Kimbangu said this Bible is incorrect. Yes, Tokwa said the same thing. So therefore, to start telling people again that it's 100% true, that is the sorcerer because he made it. The Simon the Sorcerer wrote the Quran, the Bible, the Torah, all of these things. And he's part of the Book of the Dead. We use this to expose that liar. Okay? You do not dwell within temples. The temple dwells within you. If the temple don't dwell within you, you got a problem. If the temple of the Most High is not in you, hang it up. You better get ready. Hang it up. Because very soon, we're going to embarrass people out here. Because it's going to manifest. You're going to see the real Simon Tokos out here. A lot of them. That they're trying to stop it. Yeah. And it's going to embarrass all of these false prophets that you don't understand. Nothing can be mixed with his way. Nothing. Okay. Uh, let me do the song. Oh. Again, I don't own the rights to the song. Wait, I got to do the speaker. Sorry. Like I said, people, there are going to be a lot of millstones. There are going to be a lot of stoning. There are going to be a lot of people. They is going to be you're going to be cast out. You see how they gnashing the teeth? That's the gnashing the teeth comes from the dragon. See, many people don't understand, and I fight it myself, grinding and stuff like that. That's when you got to really check your spiritual level. That's not normal. They just make it look like, oh, do you grind your teeth? Yeah, you know why you're grinding your teeth is because you're dealing with, with spirits that you need to fight. Okay? They're stressing you out for a reason. That's the part that's missing. In Zila Congo Bantwe. Sadi, Sadi Congo. They didn't need to teach us this. We already knew it. Lord Jesus. Yes, we Congo, Tanzania, Pung. Yeah, peace. Yeah, freak. 
He already knew how to praise the most high right here. Congo Vulu Z, the truth is the savior. He changed his name already. You don't even know. The father gave him the name. If you're still calling him Jesus Christ, he got a new name. The father changed it a long time ago. That's how they know they, they, they were deceiving people. He's a money Congo. The real Messiah is a money Congo. The money is a mammon. The sorcerer Clarence is a deceiver, and he was one of us. And he is Cain, the man of sin revealed, the twin brother. Just like Esau, Bakongo, deceiver, deception. Esau was a Bukongo, man. Stop with the lies. Now he's Baal. The teacher of happiness. I don't know. I'm still learning my Kikongo. I'm getting there. I don't know at all. But I'm hoping for the spiritual change really soon. <laughs> Toto, Earth. In Fumo Congo, in Fumo Congo, Longi Saka. Here we go. See, I got my name changed, and I know the name. He's not just son, he's not just Simon Toko no more. You're gonna find this out. You ask any one of your elders, what is the real way to address the Messiah now? Ho oh, ho, let's see. Oh, 
Him, everybody on the list is going to be called the same name as him. Yeah. You're not, your name is not Jesus Christ. <laughs> not on that list. And the Masons aren't going to tell you the name of the kingdom. Never. We're already telling you the kingdom has a name. And they're going to code it, but they don't tell you the full truth. They pump a Kaluma, the heavens have a name. Praises. I'm still kind of running. We're almost done. <laughs> it's okay. I went too long, two hours and 20 minutes. My bad. Sorry. Slack your kino. But that's what I'm trying to tell people. I don't like doing these long videos like this. I really don't. But I don't think you truly understand that in the next few months, your life is going to change completely. It's going to change completely. It's already starting. I don't know how many trillions of dollars people lost. It's going to get worse. That's why they're trying to cover it up because they know where you're headed for. And they want to make sure that nobody gets the opportunity to unlearn. They don't want that. You unlearn, you get, you escape. Anyway, all right. Zola Quingi, Sambalongo, Ingita. And that's how bad we're dealing with people who don't want to leave the slave master's God and are lucky to, and happy to be paid with what they got. And they're going to lose everything. And I do mean everything. They're going to lose it because it's not going to exist anymore. All right. Ingita, hallelujah. 